Hi water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising, and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see who's coming back into your life. So we'll go ahead and see what the cards are predicting for in regards to this person's return. This goes, this, sorry, there's also going to be a general, um, let me start again. This reading is a general, so please just keep that in mind. There's also going to be a part two to this reading. And in part two of the reading, we're going to explore the messages in a lot more detail and perhaps follow on. And I also want to apologize for the neighbor's noisy doggo in the background. Um, so thank you guys all for uh, tuning in. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video. Okay, it does look like someone here is wanting to slowly make their way back into the picture. Okay, this is someone who has been doing a lot of thinking about whether or not they should reach out to you and whether or not um, it might be a good idea to try and reconcile things with you or try and revisit a connection that you guys once had. Okay, so with the Three of Pentacles, um, it appears as though there were certain behavioral patterns or emotional patterns that have hindered this connection okay so maybe this person here had um, they may have been doing things uh, or saying things that maybe they weren't fully aware but it may have been uh, they may have been sabotaging the connection here it could have been due to their insecurity due to their you know their own internal issues it could also have been um, patterns of behavior that unfortunately you know were very detrimental to this relationship and to this connection here and in the end uh, it's those particular patterns of emotional or behavioral patterns here that have gotten in the way of this connection three of pentacles could also indicate that there may have been at one point in time there may have been an imbalance in the connection okay so a lack of balance a lack of equilibrium it may point to there being a third party issue, there may have been a, a third party situation, okay, maybe this person was attached or they were seeing someone else, um, they may have had an affair with someone else during your connection with this person, or it may not even have been a physical affair, it could have also been an emotional affair, okay, so they may have been emotionally cheating with you by talking and flirting um, and being very flirtatious with someone else, another energy other than yourself. So. You know, certain things were definitely um, what's caused the relationship to falter. It's what's caused the relationship to, um, unfortunately, it's what's caused, uh, it's wedged distance, maybe an emotional or a physical distance between you and this person. It feels like this person is, you know, there is someone here who wants to come back into your life. Um, and this isn't someone... Even though they've been thinking about reaching out and connecting with you, they may have been even thinking about, uh, they may even have been like writing and deleting their messages to you. This is someone who does think about what you guys want, you know, once had. Um, it's someone also, see there's a lot of tension still at the en in the energies between you and this person. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> there's still a lot of tension here between you and this individual. So that tells us that everything is not all right. It tells us that, you know, maybe this is someone who 
really hurt the relationship, we really hurt the connection, and maybe it is someone whom you really loved, and because of the idealistic nature of the Knight of Cups, maybe this is someone whom you kept making excuses for over and over again, even though, you know, this person showed you again and again that they can't be trusted, or there are some things that they're doing that are simply hurting the relationship, um, and unfortunately maybe you you know you did put them on a pedestal you put and uh, in doing so you instantly created the separation between you and your individual so there is still some some sort of tension that exists in the energies between you and this person maybe you know you've never really forgiven them or maybe you've never really forgiven yourself maybe this person never really tried to make things right um Maybe they were really riddled with an energy of guilt and shame. Or maybe, you know, you guys did patch it up and you both agreed that it's only best to go, you know, separate ways. However, you guys are still energetically or emotionally connected to one another. Maybe that therein lies the tension. But it feels like things are still pretty tense. And I think this is also what's causing this person to hesitate you know it's also what's giving them some doubt some reservation because this is someone who does want to come back into the picture but they're so nervous they're so scared of your reaction they're so scared how you might react to them coming back or to them even reaching out to you and trying to connect with you um, they see you as someone who they respect you and they see you as someone who's very strong, who's very fierce, who's very independent, who's extremely loyal. Um, and they want you back. They want all of that back. Even though they necessarily couldn't give you all of those things, this is someone who, you know, they do regret their actions. They do, they have come to terms with the fact that they've said or done things which have unfortunately really hurt this relationship and you know justice card tells us that this is someone who wants to come back into the picture but it also tells us that they need to take accountability okay um they need to take it's sort of like taking a personal responsibility for your actions because every action is going to have a reaction right and every action is going to have a consequence good or bad and it feels like this person never really owed up to what they did and maybe that's why you can't find it in your heart to forgive them and maybe that's why there's still a tension because you know you, you still can't understand how they could have treated you this way and how even though you've loved them so much and you've given them so much love they've given you they've given you so much um you know so little in return and they've hurt you so so someone he is coming back but here's the thing either they are not, you know, they're afraid of your reaction and they're afraid to take the personal responsibility. They're afraid to admit to themselves. They could be in denial as well, though. Um, but I feel like it stems more of a form of fear, although fear could be related to, an, uh, you know, denial could be related to the emotion, emotion of fear. Um, so this is someone who is scared to... They're scared to say or do the wrong thing, even though they've already done so in their past. They're scared to lose you. They've lost you once. They're scared to lose you again. So maybe them not willing to, you know, take personal accountability for their actions is them trying to deny that, you know, they were the ones to have ruined the relationship or really hurt the relationship because they can't bear to think that, you know, at the end of the day you know it's their actions that caused all of this so if and when this person does come back in the to the picture justice card really is encouraging you to hold this person accountable for you know hold them accountable for their actions if they don't hold themselves personally accountable okay the knight of cups you in the past it's like this person may have weaseled your way or is trying to maybe weasel your way, weasel their way back into your life, into the scenario. Um, or maybe you've, you know, you've made one too many excuses for this person and they kept getting away, uh, you know, they kept getting away with something that they shouldn't have. But you kept excusing their behavior because, you know, you love them and I guess that's what people do. Um, so I do see someone coming back here. It's, it's very slowly though, this is a very slow return, this is someone who is very cautious, very nervous, very anxious, they're scared to speak to you. What they fear the most is your reaction, 
That's that's what it feels like because they've lost you once. You know something that they've done, even though they at that particular point in time they thought that they emerged as the victor, but they lost you, and that was losing a whole lot for this individual. So. They've lost you once, they don't want to lose you again, and this is why they're so scared. In part two of the reading, we're going to explore, well, we're going to continue on with the messages, see when this person might be coming back, and how will they be reaching out to you, because there is contact, there is communication, but it's so, it's, not that it's limited, it's just they're holding back, okay, they're really holding back, so let's see what you can do to maybe get them to step up here. So follow me by the extension link below to part two of the reading. For those of you um, interested in a personalized reading, feel free to connect. I want to thank you guys for your time, your energy, your attention. Uh, please show your support to the channel if you haven't already by liking, sharing and subscribing. Bye for now.